In this video, we are gonna solve this limit problem right here, and so let's begin. Now, what I like to always do is plug in the value that x approaches. And if I plug in the value x approaches, which is three, let's see what we get. We would get one divided by three minus three, which is one divided by zero. Now, whenever we have a number divided by zero, infinity divided by infinity, that's gonna be a red flag that we need to approach this problem differently. And the way we're gonna approach this problem is to see what is the limit as x approaches three to the left and three to the right. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So if we got the limit as x approaches three to the left, that's like 2.999 repeated nines. Let's see what do we get for our problem. Again, the problem is one divided by x minus three. Now, if we did that, let's think about this. We would get one divided by a number like 2.9999 repeated minus three, which will equal one divided by, now 2.9 repeated is less than three. So we get a negative, very, very small number. The number we get is like negative zero point, infinite number of zeros, one. Now, one divided by a small number is infinity, and one divided by a negative very small number is going to give us negative infinity. So this piece right here is going to be negative infinity. Now, our problem is limit x approaches 3, not 3 to the left. So we need to know what is the limit as x approaches 3 to the right. If it's the same number, negative infinity, then we can say that the limit as x approaches 3 will be infinity. But if it's different, then we have to say the limit does not exist. And so let's try that. Limit as x approaches three to the right, same problem, one divided by x minus three, and let's see what do we get. Now, three to the right means 3.000 repeated zeros one. And let's see what will we get, minus three. And so we're gonna get one divided by a positive zero point repeated zero one because 3.0 repeated zero one is slightly bigger than three. And so what we'll get is one divided by a very, very, very small positive number, which will be infinity. One divided by a very small positive number is infinity. And so we see the limit as X approaches three to the left is negative infinity, while the limit as X approaches three to the right is positive infinity. Therefore, the limit as X approaches three will be does not exist, does not um, exist. And this right here is our final answer, that the limit does not exist. Now in the description box, there's two playlists. One playlist features categorized limit problems and the other um, has random limit problems. So if you need additional practice, check out the description box.